from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Well, welcome back to East Texas Live on KETK. We've got Robbie and Tracy with us from Beer Creek Smokehouse. We are talking about Valentine's Day desserts, among some other things here this morning. Thanks for yes. being with us this morning. Thank you Thank for having you. us. Well, you know, we appreciate y'all being back in, especially doing double <laughs> duty after yesterday we were up here cooking for the Super Bowl. <laughs> hey, Judd, it is a little warmer in here today. It so it's not, we talked to that guy over there. The <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it was him. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for having us. We brought, you know, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, yes, right? Yes. So we brought a great um, recipe that you can do at home um, for your Valentine. And um, it's, it's so easy to make. Uh, it's just got cream cheese. Yeah, so the, the filling is cream cheese, powder sugar, and Cool Whip, and you just mix that together. And then we did a crumble, which is brown sugar, flour, pecans, and butter, and you bake that for about 30 minutes. Let it cool, crumble it up, and you just layer it. And the great thing about this recipe is that we've done it with blueberries, we've done it with cherries, and we thought strawberries was fitting for Valentine's. Well, I was going to say, if you don't fill up on barbecue, then you can fill yourself up on, <laughs> open up your second stomach and yeah, get the exactly, exactly. Right. exactly. Well, this is staying with y'all yes, to compliment the enjoy. barbecue you had Happy yesterday. Happy Valentine's so. Day. <laughs> y'all know I'm yeah. on a diet. <laughs> so, okay, so this, uh, let's talk about your cookbook for a little bit, because this isn't included in it. It's kind of a bonus dessert, but right. uh, what all else can we find? Yeah, in so in the cookbook, Book. you know it's bare bottom list five generations of food family and faith and we're really proud of it it's a book that tells all about the story the Schultz family story mm -hmm. it's got a lot of what I call tall tales from bare bottom in there it's got some um, words of inspiration some Bible verses and it's got a lot of great recipes in there that normally you would have all the ingredients in your own pantry you don't mm -hmm. have to Google where to buy the ingredients or whatever you know they're simple down-to-earth uh, recipes that's just great home cooking which is you know one of the worst things of when you cook is you open up the ingredients you're like where on earth am I gonna find exactly right. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, Bear Creek also celebrating 80 years. Uh, that's a pretty big accomplishment. Yes, isn't it, it is. It is a big accomplishment. We've been around um, for a while now, <laughs> and we're not. We yeah. haven't been there all 80 yeah. years. Okay, we took no, a few days good. off. That's right. Well, speak for yourself. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we've been blessed. You know, we just got a great spot over there, and we've got all kinds of great activities coming up this year and um, in celebration of the 80th. And we invite everybody to come out. We, we have uh, great weekends, a lot of things planned for the weekends. Um, the best way to find out about all of our events, Judd, is go to our Facebook page and follow mm -hmm. us on Facebook. You can keep up with all the latest and greatest things that are happening at Bear Creek. Um, we do have, tell, tell oh, us some well, events, Well, we have baby. some uh, events coming up in February, uh, March. We have a Princess Tea Party, um, which is a ticketed event. So you'll have to go on uh, line mm -hmm. through our Facebook and find out about that. And then um, in April, we have Singer and Songwriters, which is a great event. Um, they raise money for a great cause. And we have uh, some songwriters coming in from Nashville, and I think we're having a local uh, songwriter from Marshall yeah. coming in. And they sit, play their guitar, tell the story behind the song and who's singing it. And it's at a great event, and it, it, it'll bring tears to your eyes. Listen to the stories. Well, I think, you know, 80 years of operation is a testament to how much y'all are loved by the community as well. I mean, what does that mean to y'all? Ah, oh, wow. It's just amazing the support we've had from the community over the years. And we love um, when we have the opportunity to give back to our community. Mm -hmm. um, we support all our local law enforcement and, and all the people that serve us. And um, anyway, we're looking forward to um, a lot of other events besides what yeah. Tracy mentioned. Uh, so we're hot. having car shows, antique tractor shows. Um, on Saturdays, when the weather's pretty, we'll get our hayride wagon out and take kids on hayrides. We've also got a big longhorn steer that is saddle broken, and you can get on him. And I'm still looking for you to come over on a I'm Saturday. Trying. But Listen, I'm trying. I know, right? So we serve uh, brisket, ribs, um, all kinds of great barbecue, great over-the-top sides on Saturdays. It's just a fun day to come out. Well, you know, for those, you got all the special events happening for the 80th, right? Right. Uh, in addition to those events, so what all other fun things can we do? Uh, and what all do y'all have planned on the weekends? Yeah, well, we, you know, we've got all kinds of animals out there. We've got longhorns. You can buy feed and go out there and feed the longhorns uh -huh. through the fence. We've got... We also have a guy that works for us. Uh, his name is Buzz, and he makes leather tools like belts mm -hmm. and knife uh, holders nice. and yeah and he's been the last couple of Fridays he's been out just sitting at a table making things and so that's really interesting you can come out and watch that because it's real it's real Friday now we just started real Friday so <laughs> yeah 
All right. Well, yeah. uh, one more time, uh, if we're interested in learning a little bit more, finding out more about the cookbook, and finding out more about Bear Creek Smokehouse, where can we go? Yeah, well, like I say, uh, a great way to find out about upcoming events is Facebook, Bear Creek Smokehouse. Mm -hmm. And if you want to make an order, we got order a cookbook or whatever, you go to bearcreeksmokehouse.com. But you know what? We're just a short hop, skip, and a jump away from Tyler. So yeah. we invite you to come over and see us in person. Let us make you feel like a part of the family. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get, get out and go, especially yep. for the brisket. The one you left yesterday, oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, my Lord. My life has changed <laughs> <laughs> it is good. All right. All right. Thank well, we you. appreciate y'all being yeah, on the, Thank you on so much us. for having us. All right. Thank stick you, around. Jenna. We'll take a final look at that seven day forecast right after this. You're watching East Texas Live on KETK.